Ain't no such thing as dead air when corn runs the board, Chris. Ain't no such thing as dead air. <laughs> I mean, I've been impressed. Josh is over here Handling telling me about to give him dead air. I ain't giving no dead air. Ain't no such thing as dead air. My needles. When I run a board, the VU meter straight up in the air the whole time. Remember, v, remember VU meters? They even have I, VU I meters oh, anymore? Yeah. yeah. I look at the board. You tell me. They should. What's that? I s- should still have v- VU meters. No, we don't have know, v- at least they, the They've got is. little graphs. they got little, uh, this 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 uh, this room has got like, it's all computer stuff. It's all digital graphs and stuff. We got no, uh, we got no VU meters. You know, the old, the old fashioned, remember the needle? No, oh, yeah, bounce. absolutely. Yeah, this. yeah. Yeah, we don't have that. We're we're advanced. So what you're saying, we've got digital lights that yeah. light up and, um, okay, move up and down. Gotcha. Exactly, exactly. All right, time for recruiting. Brought to you tonight once again by our good friends over at Seawells. What is tomorrow, Chris? It is a roast beef Friday. Tell Perfect me more. Way to end the week. Tell me more. Tell me more. Uh, that's all you need to hear. <laughs> what else do you need to know off a well, roast Well, you beef got Friday. roast beef Friday. You got all the good stuff that comes with a roast beef Friday. And the thing about got the roast the beef fresh Friday. Vegetables. The thing about the roast beef Friday is the um, the way they cook it. The way they cook it is, uh, you know, I like it rare. They cook it very. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can get, you can get medium. I guess maybe you can get kind of well done, but I like it rare. So, well, uh, and since you asked, also have fried fish nuggets, mm-hmm. teriyaki, and lemon pepper chicken wings, as well on the buffet tomorrow. That's at Sea Wells tomorrow. Best buffet in the business, from eleven till two for fourteen fifty. Make sure you check it out. Then again, for the best in the catering business, to Handle your very important outing, whether it's a birthday party or a wedding reception, a corporate outing, an awards banquet, maybe a business luncheon. That is Seawells, and their phone number is 803-771-7385 online at SeawellsCateringSC.com. So Clemson is eyeing a young quarterback in the 26th class by the name of Brock Bradley. And never too soon to get involved with quarterbacks. Clemson loves to go into the Birmingham area and find quarterbacks. He's out of Spain Park, and he camped at Clemson. He's done that for a number of years. Tigers are showing a lot of interest in him. They have been really talking to him, and he's been involved with Clemson since like his his sixth grade year. And a number of different Clemson coaches have been by to check him out, and he's worked with guys like Taj Boyd and He's uh, talked with Mickey Kahn and uh, being recruited by the Clemson area uh, recruiter so who's, who was by to, uh, to check in on him. So, of course, Clemson doesn't offer anybody in his class for a little while, so it's going to take some time there. But uh, Clemson is definitely on the list with him at this particular time. And uh, he went to West Virginia, went to Cincinnati, hit some ACC schools, uh, went to Alabama spring game, also went to North Carolina, Wake Forest, and Louisville. He's kind of can- uh, he's finalizing his camp schedule at this particular time, and he definitely wants to be back at Clemson so he can throw for uh, Garrett Riley, kind of show him what he's got, and um, they've been sending him a lot of emails and questionnaires. So, again, Clemson is showing interest in him, and there's interest uh, going back uh, towards the Tigers from Brock Bradley out of uh, the Birmingham area, Spain Park and High School. And they may have an in, and they may have an in with him too, Phil, because, you know, Tyler Grissom, who's their wide receivers coach, he's a Spain Park alum. Mm-hmm. So there's a little bit of pull already on the uh, Tiger side of the coin. So if they get a visit from him, I would think they've got a leg up on everybody else. And, of course, Dabo Sweeney grew up right there in Pelham, mm-hmm. in yep. Pelham, Alabama, and uh, it's right down the road. Uh, other notes, Coastal Carolina basketball signed 6'6 Towson transfer Marcus Watson. He's also played at North Carolina A&T and New Mexico State. Sat out all of last season with an injury. At A&T, he played in 61 games and averaged over 13 points and five rebounds per game. 
at New Mexico State, played in 12 games when he was there and averaged over three points and about two rebounds per game. Coastal Carolina also signed 6'3", Jordan Battle of Salt Lake Community College in Utah. He averaged 14 points and five rebounds per game last season, began his career at Utah Valley. The Chanticleers also signed 6'9", Western Carolina transfer Colin Granger, played in 31 games last season, averaging 11 minutes, two points, and three rebounds per game. Didn't you meet with the new coach today? I was going to say, sources close to Justin Gary told me today he's very happy about Marcus Watson. Feels pretty good about the uh, about him. And they've got a couple of other guys they hope to get on campus here in the next few weeks. So they are not slowing down. Once he hit the ground and signed the contract at Coastal, he has been on the recruiting trail ever since. Yeah. And so he's building that roster as quickly as he can. College of Charleston signed 6'6". Six, six. Justice Stonkus. Justice Stonkus, a native of Lithuania, who played this past season with a team in Lithuania, uh, averaging over 11 points per game. They also signed 6'2 Delaware State transfer DeWilk Tavares, the MEAC Rookie of the Year. 6'10 St. Louis transfer Steph Van Bussel. And 6'2 St. Louis transfer DeGeorge Kurich. Furman signed 6'7", Florida State transfer Tom House, and 5'11", Charleston Johnston, a transfer from Cal State Monterey Bay. Uh, 6'3", Drake transfer Chico Johnson, committed to USC Upstate. Football, Clemson offered offensive tackle Mario Nash, 6'5", 285 from DeKalb, Mississippi. He visited Clemson. In early March, and some of the other offers for him are Southern Cal, Colorado, LSU, Duke, Ole Miss, Vanderbilt, Oregon, Kentucky, Boston College, Louisville, Mississippi State, Purdue, Missouri, and Auburn. He's got officials to Southern Cal June 7th, Mississippi State June 21st. Of course, Clemson offered cornerback Donovan Starr, 6 feet 175, Brentwood, Tennessee. He was in on Friday to visit. He also has Miami and Ole Miss, Tennessee, Vanderbilt, Northwestern, Louisville, North Carolina, Missouri, Georgia Tech, Mississippi State, and others. Clemson target offensive tackle Josh Petty of Roswell, Georgia, was at Ohio State yesterday, and he has added official visits to his list. He's got dates now with Georgia Tech, Clemson, Auburn, Tennessee, Stanford, Oregon, and Florida State. Safety Jordan Young has Clemson in his top eight, along with Alabama, Florida State, North Carolina, Tennessee, Texas A&M, NC State, and Michigan. USC target linebacker Tavion Wallace of Jessup, Georgia, named a top five of Florida, LSU, Georgia, Florida State, and Arkansas. USC was on his prior short list and was scheduled for a June 21st official. And 2026 safety Jazavian Currents of South Point was offered by Alabama and Southern Cal. 